Well, with budget cuts hitting schools all across the nation, one of the first things to go are arts. But one local group trying to keep that in our area. In studio with me this morning is Jody Blackburn, and you were telling me about a really great event that's happening tomorrow in our area. So tell me a little bit about Growing Up Artfully. Yes, this is a, a signature event that we've been doing for over a decade now. Um, historically, it has been um, hosted with a family in town will will go into their homes and they'll invite two to four hundred of their closest friends two the, to four hundred closest friends the last <laughs> couple of years we've switched it up and we've decided to invite um, our guests to our home which is the Whiting Auditorium um, Sloan Museum Longway Planetarium and the Flint Cultural Center campus so, and um, I think that's one thing that's really unique about the pro uh, the event uh, tomorrow night is that it's a multi venue event, so people can check out all these places. Yes, actually, it is going to be a progressive event. We're going to start the evening um, around 5:30 at the Whiting, where we'll have um, cocktails, hors d'oeuvres. There'll be uh, a live entertainment by a local performer named Paul Ojibwe. He will be serenading us with the piano and then we're going to do some behind the scenes tours. Mm -hmm. We're going to take um, guests down into what we lovingly refer to as the pit, which is the orchestra pit. Very cool. Um, now th yeah. This is all exciting when you get to go to the thing, but the real message behind this program is you guys help 20,000 people annually. At least. At yes. least. Why is it so important? What do you guys do with the money? Well, we take the money, we provide uh, ticket and busing subsidies to students mm -hmm. or um, kids and families who may not have the resources to come and utilize the, the services that are there for this community, mm -hmm. which is the Whiting Sloan Longway um, programming. Very, so, very great. Yeah. Okay, so if you are interested in a fun night, make sure you check it out tomorrow. We have all the details out on our website at myabcnews.com. Budget cuts across the nation have been hitting schools hard, and one of the first things to go are the arts, but not one local group trying to keep those things in our area. In studio with me is Jody Blackburn this morning, and you're telling me all about Growing Up Artfully. What exactly is this? Growing Up Artfully is an event that the Flint Cultural Center Corporation um, hosts on an annual basis and we raise uh, funds for ticket and busing subsidies for um, underserved populations to be able to utilize our services. Why is it so important to, to have art still in these kids' lives? Well, you know, there are a lot of studies out there that, that show a direct correlation between arts um, experiences and their other academic performances. So it's really important for us to, to touch these kids' lives. I think it's a great way too to kind of have that outlet for them to maybe do something else, you know, to get out there and get the arts and all those things. Yes, absolutely. It's a great opportunity for teachers to bring a whole classroom down as well. Right. So. Okay. So, and you guys help almost twenty thousand people annually. We yes, at least twenty thousand annually. Yes. Okay. So, if you're interested in helping them out, we have a big fundraiser happening tomorrow. So, tell us a little bit about the fundraiser. The fundraiser is going to be on our campus. It's going to be a progressive event where we start at the Whiting. We have cocktails and hors d'oeuvres. We're going to travel over to Sloan Museum. We're going to have dinner um, and some behind the scenes tours at both of those places and then we're going to cap the evening off with some desserts and specialty coffees at Longway Planetarium which is newly renovated so very exciting times over at Longway. I think it's very interesting that it's it's a multi-venue event so people can check out all of these places. Yes. And you're like you said you're gonna have some kids entertaining there so you kind of get to see where the money will be going and great way to support the community. Now for more information on Growing Up Artfully just head out to our website mindbcnews.com. Jody thanks for stopping in.